happy Halloween or November 1st, whatever day this video ends up making it out into the internet. Today is Halloween, hence the the extraness. I bought this hat at Target for $5. Basically did an exaggerated version and called myself a witch. Over exaggerated my eyebrows. Instead of white liner in my under eye, I just smoked it out. And my lip shade is a lip liner. That actually isn't a lip liner, it's a brow liner, but it's all the same, okay? So since I uploaded my makeup tutorial, I got comments and DMs from you lovely ladies saying that you loved my makeup tutorial, but you are beginners and don't really know where to start, want to invest in all of these things, but they're afraid that they might go broke. And the answer is you will if you go ham and just invest in all of this stuff that you don't even know what to do with. So I always say baby steps, just one thing at a time until you start to get comfortable with what you're doing, then you can progress and that's when the tools in your box just get bigger and bigger, okay? But it all comes with time and practice, so your box isn't gonna get bigger if you're not practicing, okay? Okay, so what I wanted to do for you guys out of my entire makeup regimen or toolbox, I decided to pick the top 10 makeup products that I think are most necessary. Um, five that I think are the most important, absolutely cannot go without, must have every single time I leave the house. No questions asked. You don't want to scare the universe with what you got going on, so you're going to take two minutes and you're going to put these five things on. <laughs> And then I'm going to follow up with the five others that I think are important, but not as important. Okay? You feel me? You picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. Actually, yesterday was Monday, my day off, and on my days off, I want to cram all of these things into one day and be as productive as I possibly can. But of course, I sleep in a little too much, leaving me no time at all. So I'm rushing like a crazy freaking animal. I was actually able to put this little theory into test just yesterday, so the mind is very fresh right now. It's very fresh with the, with, with the importantness. Starting with my top, number one is brows. On my days off when I don't wear any makeup, I just line my brows very lightly just to darken them and it's amazing. They frame the face. You don't even realize it, but brows are the structure to the face. And I'm just going to leave it at that because that's, it's just, that's just that. If you saw my makeup tutorial, you saw that I do three different liners for my brows. I do a liner, a middle shade, and then a lighter color so that I can kind of create an ombre effect. With I had to choose one though. It would be Revlon The Brow Fantasy in Dark Brown. This is my filler shade and then I can set my brows with the gel and it leaves them fuller and keeps them nice and tidy all day. So I'm going with this guy. Second most important, bronzer or any kind of contour to your face. Just a little bit of bronzer on your cheekbones, on your forehead, on your chin, just very lightly all over. It doesn't have to be much. It just adds structure to your face, adds that little bit of glow. Let's be honest, it just makes you look alive. I'm picking one for my light ladies and then my tan ladies who can be shimmying. I'm the leader of the squad, okay? Especially because I just did my Glow Pro tanning routine last night and I'm feeling very bronzed today, so. So for my light ladies, this is Benefit Hula. It's just a nice neutral shade. This shade looks good on everyone. This is Max Give Me Sun Glowiness. This also, I think, will look good on every skin tone. Right here, this is it. When I was filming my tutorial, I really did not like anything that was going on until these bad boys went on. I just can't live without my lashes. I can't live without them. But on my no makeup days, when I'm not putting these tarantulas on my eyelid, I um, just use this CoverGirl Lash Blast. This is in very black. These are House of Lashes in Iconic. And like I said, they don't have to be this extra. Just a little bit of something on your eyelashes. So important, they make your eyes look bigger. They make a pop. This is it. Number four. So we have our bronzer and now all over, just a little bit of a light glow goes a long way. So this is Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. I've gotten all of her shades and the Prosecco Pop is my favorite, mostly because it just has that golden undertone and I'm just a golden gal, so I love my golden tones. When I put this on all over my face, just really lightly, I put it on my the highlights of my bone, on my nose, my cupid's bow, a little bit on the forehead, and always the tear duct area of your eyes. Just a little bit of this after you bronze. It really just like, you just, you're alive. You're, you're like, you're glowing from within. Even if you're not feeling your best, this will fold anyone. Fifth most important is lip. 
this is way extra for me. Or today I had a, a much darker purplishy undertone lip and I could not stand to look at myself. I don't like lips. I feel like you can either have one or the other. I go hard with the eyeballs. So I choose eyes over lip and you can't really do both. You either pick a bold lip or a bold eye. You can do both at night, but definitely not during the day. Anyways, so as far as my lip goes, this is Max Peach Stock. This is my favorite nude of all time. Buxoms, this is Amanda, just for a little bit of extra shine, mostly in the center of my lip. When I throw those five things on my face, it takes me less than five minutes. I'm out the door. I feel like I can at least communicate with the human face to face. So that's good. And now I can feel this video getting way too long and it's gonna take me way too long to edit. So we're gonna go through the next five pretty quickly. So stick with me. So when you're ready to take that extra step in your makeup game, we're gonna move on to our big boys. Okay, things that take your makeup game to the next level. Okay, so priming your skin, preparing your skin for your makeup is what's gonna set you up for success. So when your canvas is perfected, then everything just should go nice and smoothly from that point on. After I moisturize, cover FX blurring primer. This instantly minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines to create a super smooth, flawless, airbrushed look. This is gonna make your canvas nice and flawless. And then next up, your foundation, or if you don't wanna put anything heavy on your face, then just a concealer. Cover up your blemishes, make everything look nice and smooth, and it's foundation, I don't, I don't know what else to say about it. My favorite foundation of all time is Makeup Forever's Matte Velvet Plus. This is in number 67. I told you guys in my makeup tutorial, I have very oily skin, and this mats me out. It gives me that full coverage, and this is Real Techniques, because it literally gives me that airbrush effect in no time. I just apply the foundation straight onto my skin, evenly distributes the foundation really nice and fast. And that's what I love about it, especially because my foundation is really matte. Applying it with a damp sponge really helps spread the foundation nice and evenly and blends it out very nicely. This is Morphe's eyeshadow palette in 350. Obsessed with this shadow palette. It has all of your shimmers and all of your mattes all in one. I always like to do a medium and darker shade just because it just adds that extra bit of dimension. I will use the shit out of a palette at a time. I don't go crazy with a ton of palettes because it's just too much. This is already enough. I don't need a thousand palettes around to choose from. Okay, I have two seconds to get ready in the morning. I'm gonna love one at a time and uh, I will beat it up and then move on. Last but not least, you're gonna want to set. After you've worked so hard on this masterpiece that you created, this is just gonna set it into place. It's gonna blur out any of your imperfections and uh, it's just gonna keep it where it needs to be for as long as it will be. My favorite setting powder of all time is Makeup Forever's HD High Definition Powder. I'm doing my makeup, nothing is working for me. I'm just hating it the entire time after this. It blurs out any lines that I did not take time enough to blend, so that's it. Woo! I think I made pretty good timing. That wasn't too painful. I hope you guys enjoyed all of my top 10 makeup must-haves. Five being your absolute rider dies. You cannot live without, I cannot live without. I hope this helps you guys in any way. I have a couple more vegan delights that I recorded a couple days ago. I wanted to really get uh, get the most out of my little Halloween-y lights because of uh, Joanne Fabrics. She ain't cheap. I think I get the most out of my little props here, so <laughs> you'll be seeing a few of these. It's okay. They're cute. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Ring the bell. Do all the things. Let me know down below what more you want to see. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.